Okay, hello dear friends. So this video I want to make some caramel onion. And uh, <clears throat> so let me start with it and then chat with you why I do this caramel onion. It does not matter white onion, yellow onion or, or red onion, whichever onion you use. Just find an onion. I have red onion, purple onion, red onion and uh, white onion. So I will use these two. Cut into small pieces. I should wear my glasses. Maybe I will cut. At the same time, I turned on the fire already. Okay. I think I will put one more. You can wash it a little bit to get rid of the very stinky flavor. No, not uh, 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 um, the very stinks to your eyes. Power under it. Get rid of the excess water. Now we will start to cut it. The fire is. Put it in. You can take a look here. So we put it in. Turn the fire slower to wait for the rest of the onion. Okay, now we are done with the cutting. Come back to the fire. Put everything in and turn the fire stronger. Oh, that's a lot of honey. To the strongest fire. I'm cooking all you. Hello! Hello.
Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye. Hello. There's not very much we can do just to let there is not very much we can do just let the fire do the work the heat and the slowly it will crystal uh, <clears throat> it will uh, it will burn out or evaporate the water the moisture from the onion and uh, the um, the sugary content from the onion will come out and become crystallized i will not stop the video although it might be quite boring for you to see the same process but i just want to be honest and uh, let you see the process and originally usually i do not put a lot of uh, uh, oil not this this much but I learned from one comment. So today I did uh, I did a caramel uh, peach, and one friend said maybe we can use other things, and she liked the caramel the onion from her grandmother Papa, Papa, and now so I am thinking I will do the thing. For, I will do caramel onion. I was afraid of stealing the show of Papa, but uh, she said it's uh, the best in respect. Tribute to Papa. So I take it as as this. This one is dedicated to a dear friend's grandmother, Papa. And uh, I'm not sure whether this will be good or not, but uh, let's see. I put it a little bit inside so that there will be not too much sparkle to the floor. Okay, I change fire to the inside. become golden it takes time not very much we can do just to let it cook not very much we can do just to let it cook from time to time we stir it and that's it And uh, I think I will show you something else.
I am cooking now. I will do a fried rice. There is a lot of oil, a little bit too much of this oil. So, this is the onion I made yesterday. Yesterday I bought some minced pork and uh, some leftover. Or some minced pork and this onion, so I cooked it.
now we need to say hello for the, for the rice. Hello. Bye bye. Hello. Bye bye. Now we put the egg back in the rice. It's a little bit burnt and we need this teeny tiny little bit burnt. Now we put the egg back in. You can get rid of the excess oil. Do not put it in. Take a picture of it and post it on my Facebook. Now let me check. Oh, actually, easy to take picture here. We will put it into the container. this oil in also the rest of it you can make into cooking any other vegetable oil or something to go with it. Actually, this is 
just the one cup. I need to take a picture before I put it in. This one will be used for picture. Now we can put the cooking oil in. That's a lot. Recipe for disaster. The oil is the best part. Enclose it. Put into refrigerator, caramel onion. Now our rice is good. It does not look very good, it looks quite mushy. So what we can do, this one already not having much uh, oil, we have uh, taken away the oil, we can put it like this to serve, a little bit too much oil, right? But uh, it's more delicious this way. So, bon appetito. Fried rice with onion. I cannot see, I didn't wear my glasses. That's it. Bon appetito. This is our caramel onion. Uh oh. Get it closer. Caramel on the do 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 do.